Hey guys, this is me Gazanan, and you are watching Tech Rudransi. Today uh, we will see category and subcategory drop down in uh, PHP MySQL Ajax. So before to write code, let me show you a quick demo. So let's choose uh, PHP. So it will uh, uh, gives us a subcategory, and when you choose HTML, it's not showing anything because uh, the category of uh, uh, HTML doesn't have subcategory so it's uh, it's not showing anything uh, with html okay so let me choose uh, choose a php again and it will show laravel which is from php framework and wordpress is a uh, wordpress cms and coding net is also a framework of php so uh, okay so let me show you uh, a database my database name is a demo and it has a table which is categories and here is a id parent id and category okay so let's create a project and understand this functionality okay so let me close all the previous files from here so now it's blank and here is a project of its php tutorial and here is lots of files okay or uh, index.php or uh, get sub or uh, get subcategory dot php db connection so let's uh, let me show you db uh, config this is just file for connecting to a database okay you already know server name is a uh, localhost and uh, username my username is root if you have a different uk you need to put it a different username and password is your database password so my password i'm working on localhost so my password is blank and db name is so demo as you have seen and connection i'm creating an object of connection which is mysql i connect this is php inbuilt function to connect to database and it takes four parameters server name which is a you can host name maybe and it's a server name is localhost username is root and password is blank and db name my db name is demo okay if it doesn't connect okay this is not operator means uh, yes or no so this is a no if not okay no connects no connection it will die the page and so the message which could not connect mysql server so let me close this one and now need to che, uh, see index.php let's uh, drag it here and drop it here so i have uh, included let me zoom in so you can see clearly i have included a uh, db underscore config.php which is this file and uh, php text should be closed and here is a simple html doc type as you know well uh, about the uh, HTML, so this is doc type, this is HTML tag, and uh, HTML should be closed here. Let me show you. And here is a head tag, and head tag should be closed it here. And this is title tag, so title tag you can put it anything my title, my page title, page title or category a category any uh, title you can put uh, according to your page and simply i have a added a uh, post rabbit here so link rel related to style sheet and so uh, related okay uh, related to style sheet and uh, reference href and it's a uh, this is cdn file if you don't know you can uh, check out my previous video how you can uh, add a bootstrap on html so just i have uh, added bootstrap it here using this file using a cdn yeah and bottom of that here is a bot uh, head tag i have closed and here is a body tag and body tag is just a html and here are some dues due container this is a bootstrap container and this is a row bootstrap row and uh, this is a, a call md uh, medium Div okay, medium, medium container MD. So, this is also a bootstrap container, and uh, I have a used card. This is also a bootstrap card, and here is a card header, 
everything is in a HTML okay I'm not putting any PHP code and here is simply you can put anything it here category subcategory drop down in PHP I'm just putting my title in a header of a card then uh, here is a body card body and form okay so here is a form just simply uh, in a put inside a brave inside a form group so here is a form group and here is a label you can put a label okay so HTML is not important just I want to show you a logic of uh, drop down uh, category and subcategory uh, selection okay and here is a select tag and uh, here is the options so select tag and here is the options and select category so let me show you which is this one select category is this one and here is a lots of categories maybe uh, if uh, it has inside in your database table so php html okay so this php and html and the category we will get from uh, database so we need a connection it here okay so uh, we have included it here connection file okay and bottom of that here we are writing a query okay result mysql i query and here is a connection connection type whatever connection you are returning from dbconfig.php and here is select query select all from category this is a table name where parent id is equals to zero okay just for demo purpose you can dynamically you can get okay so all the categories we are getting from here where is zero so here is two categories related to zero is php and html so it's showing me php and html only and uh, while loop to get all the categories are related to zero okay so it's value option tag and its value is whatever id of uh, this zero parent id okay whatever id one and two and uh, i'm simply just putting a category name inside a option tag so here is the option tag closed and here is the option tag let me zoom out so you can see clearly okay yeah and select it should be uh, closed from here to here you can see and bottom of that we have a subcategory okay here is a subcategory and we will put its value okay not not put its value but we will uh, put a data put an option take inside this drop down subcategory drop down so uh, using this id selector we will uh, write a jquery and to put a content inside this select take its options okay so let me show you uh, jquery so here is i have uh, included jquery it here uh, let me close this one so i have included jquery and uh, when i'm choosing okay whatever you are choosing from here to here it will change whatever php to html html to php whatever category will change so this function will work okay and we are getting value so category id making variable and this whatever value okay whatever you have selected from here it's a value it comes uh, and is stored in a category id and then putting a ajax right and we are sending data to get cat in php we will see in a minute and category id we are sending this category id okay and just simply uh, let me show you get sub cat dot php sub cat get sub Kate.php. So here is a simply just a MySQL query DB connection. Let me zoom in DB connection and this category we are getting. So this ex this variable category ID is exactly matched to this one, right? So we are getting a category ID, whatever category ID you have selected. So PHP its ID is one, as you can see, PHP and its ID is one and uh, we are selecting select all from categories where parent id is whatever uh, category you have selected so parent id as we know that 
php's uh, parent id is so uh, you can see parent id php and its id whatever is 11111 and one has a laravel one has a wordpress and one has a code igniter okay so it will get if you select php it will get laravel wordpress and code igniter and here is a simply uh, i am making H, uh, html it here and this is option take and this option take we will put inside here let me show you inside here bottom of that okay we are appending to this so and this is subcategory drop down and subcategory drop down is this one this id and we are appending oh sorry not appending just html okay so dot html and request uh, result whatever result okay revise result or data whatever control s for save and uh, pretty much we have done so if you have any questions you can write a comment i'm here to help you so thank you for watching bye bye take care uh, we will see you soon in the next video till then bye have a nice day